I'm at this time, if we could have the, uh, the children come up for uh, children's message. Uh, well, welcome everyone. Good morning. How's everyone doing this morning? Good. 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 Uh, uh, now, today's an exciting day because it's the start of the new year. Now, now the question I have uh, for today and for everyone is, um, you know, why does, why does Jesus have to come to us? Why can't we... Um, why can't Liam build a ladder and climb to the Lord? Why, why does Jesus have to come to us? Why does that have to be the most important thing about our faith that Jesus comes to us? Does anyone know why? Does anyone know why? That's kind of a tough question, right? Right? Now, in this month of December, as we uh, get closer to Christmas, uh, it's a time of preparation as we think about why does Jesus have to come into this world for me? And it's a time to remember that because of my sin, my sin, my sin, your sin, everyone's sin here, that Jesus comes to save us from our sin, right? Can we all agree that we need to be saved? Can we save ourselves? Can we? Can we, can we try hard to save ourselves? Will that work? No, right? We need Jesus to come to us. And the thing is, he already has. He died on the cross, right? And three days later, he rose from the dead to give you life. So as we live this day, uh, we live in the joy of this gospel, knowing that our Lord has come for us. And yes, he still comes to us this day. He comes to us by the word. He comes to us in the sacrament, as, as you see, as you get old enough to receive uh, a communion, right, when you get older. Um, but um, Jesus still comes today uh, through his word. And there's another thing, there's the last thing he will do is that he will come to us on the last day. And we as Christians, that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for his final return. And that's what this day is about. He came, he continues to come with us, and he will come back to take us home one day. And that's the life of faith, you guys. And in the meantime, what do we do? Well, we just simply rest in this word. Because here in this word, we have Jesus. And he comes to us every single time and gives us the joy of this gospel. Remember that this day, that we need our Lord to come to us. No matter how good we think we are, that'll never be enough. That's not what our faith is about. But it's all about Jesus coming to each and every one of you by the promise of his very word. And there you find the greatest joy in your life. Yeah, you're forgiven of your sins. You have life eternal. You have the keys to eternal life all by what the Lord has done for you. And remember that this day that you are forgiven of all of your sins, all by what the Lord has done by his gracious promise. Now today, um. I brought you some uh, Advent calendars that are um, full of chocolate. <laughs> I know I, I will give them to you right now only if you promise that you ask your parents after church that you can open them up, okay? Do we have a promise on that? They're tempting, though. They're full of chocolate. I shouldn't have told you that. <laughs> I should have said they were full of vegetables, and you well, would I probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Let us pray. Dearly Father, we, uh, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this time together. Uh, bless these children in this season, knowing full well why you, O oh Lord, has come for us. Lord, bless these children in the faith, knowing that it's all about Jesus and your promise. Bless them and, and give them peace in the midst of all that they may go through, knowing full well that their sins are covered and that they too have uh, the keys to eternal life. Lead them by your spirit, your light. We pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.